Deepika from the Raisina Hills and you're watching the Raisina Talk. We have Mr. Mahendra Singh with us. He's Assistant Professor of Gorakhpur University. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Thank you so Great. much, Mahendra. Right, sir. So encounters in Uttar Pradesh are being questioned. So what merit do you see in the demand for probe and Jhasi encounter? Actually, these are uh, these demands are basically a politically motivated demands. And the political parties don't see that uh, these such demands basically uh, they demotivate, they discourage the entire police force which is fighting against these dreaded criminals, uh, which has uh, their roots in Uttar Pradesh for the past two, three decades. So uh, I don't see any merit in such demands. You are questioning basically the police force mm. who are risking their lives to, 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 uh, to give justice to the people who are basically the victims of these criminals, these Bahud Balid. Uh, who have been glorified in the past political regimes due to different regions. Right, right. So, so people are rejoicing at the killing uh, of the son of Atik Ahmed. So how do you explain their reaction? No, definitely. Because it took almost more than 43 years since he committed his first crime to get it convicted. So definitely uh, people have uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry to say this, but they have lost their faith in the entire political system yeah. as well as the judicial system. So definitely when they are killed, when they are punished, people who are victim, who are the sufferers, who are who are basically the biggest uh, victims of these, uh, I, I would say criminalization of politics, mm -hmm. not politicization of criminals. Right. Because they have entered into the politics, they they has uh, they, uh, they have uh, the entire society for that reason has glorified these criminals. So now the people, common people, uh, middle class, lower middle class, the rural population who have been victim, who who have been the at the receiving end of these criminals' activities. So th definitely they will be uh, uh, they will be happy. And more than happy, and they are not going to see whether the entire the quote unquote the demand for the the inquiry or the entire the, this criminal justice uh, prudence were followed or not. But at the same time, I would I, I would like to say that I would clarify that that doesn't mean any civilized society should have the legal the judicial system to punish these criminals. And I see uh, no merit in the demand for probe. Because the police force has killed that. Because he was wanted, uh, the both, the the uh, uh, okay. son of Atik Ahmed and uh, uh, other uh, who, uh, who have attacked Umesh Pal, they were wanted. And uh, there was a reward of 5 lakh rupees. Uh, and they had not surrendered. And they had not appealed in any court. So definitely, they, uh, they were eliminated. Right, sir. So with that only, what according to you is Yogi uh, model of law and order? Uh, Yogi's model of law and order is very simple. That if you commit a crime in Uttar Pradesh, you are going to be punished. Yes. And this is the masses, the the uh, the broader masses which he wants to send since he, he came to power uh, in 2000, March 2017. And because he has seen these mafias operating from very close quarters because he himself was attacked in 2018 when he uh, he was uh, going to Mao, uh, which was one the uh, once uh, uh, the field of uh, uh, Mukhtar Ansari, mm -hmm. and he used to uh, his uh, jungle Raz. He used to run the show in the entire uh, Mau Ajamgad uh, region, and he was himself attacked. So he he knows how to uh, counter these criminals, these mafias, and he has been doing that. But but he has never said that you know uh, the police force has to take extra constitutional measures or extra legal measures. But if you don't uh, surrender, if you don't follow a rule of law. His message is clear that UP is 
now governed by rule of law and if you are not going to fall in line you will be punished at any cost right sir so with that only uh, do you think that up will become free of mafia with encounters and they will not come back in near future no the message is very clear that how big you are how strong you are how much political patronage you you have enjoyed you are going to be punished for your sin so it is very clear and this is the rule of law and uh, the the message is very clear by uh, chief minister that if you are going to commit a crime because his vision is to make up make uttar pradesh a, a growth economic engine of the country a, a, a one trillion economy and he know that the the rule of law is the first requirement uh to to uh, for the development or economic development of the uttar pradesh so at any cost he is going to deal with such elements uh who were being glorified and even even the police personnel or even the administrative officers they were they were feared to counter them now the same machinery the same system is eliminating them so the right. matter is very clear so my last question for you is can you explain a uh, political patronage enjoyed by the mafia in prayagraj and gazipur uh, region after 1990s so uh, yeah just now i have talked about that that how uh, in the era of mandal politics the when regional parties were growing in uttar pradesh these mafias these uh, criminals they were encouraged to join the politics and be it atik ahmed be it muttar ansari they are basically the product of the the regional regionalization of the politics in uttar pradesh so <clears throat> but uh, as i have told you that this was the period when in allahabad atik ahmed was growing he he has been with uh, samajwadi party with bahujan samajwadi party similar is the case with the muttar ansari but these these were the phase uh, now when a national party is in power when you have a very strict dynamic no nonsense uh, individual as the chief minister of uttar pradesh the message is loud and clear that mm-hmm. fall in line uh, follow the rule of law if you want to be, live your life otherwise you will be eliminated you have to be face the law right sir All right, sir. Thank you so much for your time. It was lovely having a discussion with you, and I'll be back with another episode tomorrow. Please do share, like, and subscribe our YouTube channel.